ATP is just like a high school relationship because it's stored energy. Everyone knows it's not lasting. ATP is energy, like, yeah, energy. ATP, woo! -hoo. Okay, but when it first happens, you get that nice connection. You're together. It took a little while, and it was tough because there's a lot of negativity. You know, there's friends and peers, and they're like, oh, don't do it, don't do it, or you worry, well, what, what other people think? Should I, should I? And then, ah, get connected. You want to get these bonds together, and they're both negative, and they both don't want to really go together. Repel, but if you can overcome that, then you can have a connection. Then things are nice and stable. Two phosphate, an ADP and a phosphate together. ATP bliss. Life is good, and you're nice and stable. But there's no fun. There's no energy. No one is going crazy. Nothing. You're just nice and stable, and they say, "Ah, oh, how cute," and you go about your merry way. But everyone knows it ain't lasting. So. It is just storing that energy up. You had the endergonic reaction to put it together, but then... So you get those there, and that third bond breaks up through hydrolysis, and then the energy explodes. When you break the bonds of your relationship, it's like breaking the bonds of ATP. That's when people start going crazy. That's what the energy is after the break. When happened, and then pop goes the ATP. Energy is released. Everyone is going crazy. Oh, no. Oh no, that didn't happen. Oh no. <coughs> oh. We were like, social media is going to buzz. People don't get on their social media talking about oh, how cute they are. Uh uh. It's during the breakup. That's when ATP is released. Exergonic, baby. Bring the X in exergonic. Delta G is negative. So now the system is disturbed. There's spontaneous changes taking place. Because the energy is now leaving. Everyone is going crazy. And now it's moving on to other things. Because stuff's happening. Stuff's going down. Energy level's going out. Energy is leaving. When you break between that second and third bond, that's what's happening. Just like when that high school relationship breaks up. You have friends that are bringing you together. Like ATP synthase. You know, that's found in chloroplasts or mitochondria. That's helping to allow those relationships to be together. Or... Perhaps, you know someone who's going through trying to break them up, get things moving, stir the pot a little bit. That's breaking it off. Let that energy go. You got a friend who wants to actively transport someone out. Another reason why ATP is like a high school relationship. ADP and phosphate are constantly getting together and breaking up. Getting together and breaking up. Doesn't even have to be the same P getting back with the same ADP. Although there are some high school relationships where... They're kind of like, I can't quit you. I got to stay with you. And so they are constantly going back and forth. You know who I'm talking about. Others, it doesn't matter. They're just looking for whoever's there, looking for a connection to be established, overcome that negativity, and then establish a nice, stable relationship. So it's constantly cycled. It's constantly turned over, just like high school relationships are. Next time you see a high school relationship, think about ATP. The endergonic they had to go together go through the negatives, trying to push apart, and then finally after it gets stuck together, it's gone.